Lushan, city of mountains and rivers, a culinary hub in western China, and home to the Lushan Grand Buddha, sitting 233 feet tall, with shoulders 80 feet wide and fingers 27 feet long. This is the largest stone Buddha statue in the world. The history behind this magnificent site is pretty spectacular. Over 1200 years ago, the waterways the Lushan Buddha now faces were the site for some pretty catastrophic floods. When a monk named Hai Tong visited this area during the Tang Dynasty, he witnessed the catastrophic flooding. And after doing so, he was really motivated to help. So motivated that he set out to construct this which would do two things. Firstly, it appeases the gods by building a magnificent Buddha statue. And second, discarding the remaining rock into the river would actually slow the flow of the river which was constantly shipwrecking boats. It took 20 years just to gain all the funds for the construction. Haitong even gouged out one of his eyes to display his determination for the completion of the project. After a total of 90 years and the supervision of three different Tong emperors, construction was finally complete in the year 803 AD. I could almost touch its curls if I reached through the bars. Each curl in its hair is the size of a basketball. What I enjoy the most about the Lushan Buddha is that when I'm looking at it, I feel like I'm looking at all of China. Firstly, the geography of China is all about mountains and rivers. And the Lushan Buddha was built in front of the convergence of three rivers. And then the Buddha over here is a perfect representation for the history and the ancient cultural values of this country. Buddhism and Taoism are all about integrating with nature and being one with nature. There is nowhere I'd rather be in this country, nowhere I'd rather be in the world right now than standing right here staring into the eyes of the all-knowing. There's something godlike, something absolutely divine about that face. But those eyes don't just talk the talk. The Lushan Buddha is a miracle worker. And after its construction, all the flooding in this area was alleviated. So it makes me wonder, are there other miracles the Lushan Buddha can perform even today? Hmm. Chu 治理好能摆脱新冠的影响命运的一个载体共同体就是说呢我们一定要有信仰有力量才能在人类共同的灾难面前去克服去共同去面对美好生活 The Lushan Buddha is one of the most popular tourist attractions in China But the more I got to explore Lushan The more this city surprised me with its concealed treasures I've arrived at what's known as the Oriental Buddha capital Now this site is only as old as I am But the intricacy of these sculptures absolutely blew me away. We have just entered the King Buddha's palace. I'm in some adventure action movie right now and I've just invaded the King's palace and all his evil giant warriors are getting ready to attack me. But at the same time, you look at that King Buddha's face and it's just so happy and lazy and he wouldn't harm a soul.
all the sculptures and all the expressions are just so specific. I mean, I can tell you, this guy right here, he rode his pet deer all the way from his monastery to this sacred ancient library. And he's been holed up in this library, reading books for weeks now, when he finally came across a passage that just gave him the epiphany that he was searching for. This is the moment when he has that epiphany. Can we get an emoji for that? If I had to summarize all this artwork into one theme, I'd say it, it all represents oneness. I mean, not only with all the circular symbolism, it's not all Chinese artwork. There's influences from different cultures and everywhere you look, there's just people just clumped together. It is, in my eyes, a beautiful ode of the oneness that exists in this world. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this video, please just give it a like. That really helps me to spread this video to more people and show them just how beautiful China really is. Now you ask any Chinese person, what makes Lushan so special? And they'll tell you, number one, it's Lushan Buddha. And number two, it's Lushan's food scene. Tonight we're going for some Bobo G, which is like barbecued skewers, which are just marinated and soaked in this cold chili chicken oil. So let's just dig in, starting here with the chicken. Mm. I guess the one I ordered is not very spicy, and it's perfect. There's just a lot of sesame seeds and that crunch and that flavor is just really satisfying to go along with just a little bit of spice. It is just a little bit of spice, but it's like soaked throughout all the meat. Usually, I think a brewed pepper meat is dry and disgusting, but the flavor of this is so delicious that even though it's not hot, it, it absolutely works. Next up on the taste list is sweet duck. So I got my sweet duck to go and I've come to this entrance of this little local park and I'm gonna enjoy myself a little picnic. I've never seen duck so shiny in my life. That is beautiful. That is pretty. So I'm gonna go for the big one. I guess this is the leg or whatnot. Oh wow, instantly, from the first moment it hits my tongue, you just get that, that sweetness. The skin fuses with the sugar to create this outside that's both crunchy, and the sugar just dissolves in your mouth at the same time. I think it's time to dig into the head. If there's anything I learned in science class, the more surface area you got on the skin of a sweet duck, the more delicious it's gonna be. And that, that baby, that is all skin. Sitting here, watching the cars go by under the shade of the trees, letting this sweet, sweet duck dissolve in my mouth. It's all about the simple things in life, am I right? Discovering the charming Haoshan Bridge was just another example that demonstrates the theme of Lushan throughout my trip. Unexpectedly amazing. Just taking a stroll around downtown Lushan on the surface, there's nothing really special about it. But when you begin to check out the attractions here, you realize Lushan is a cultural gold mine. Firstly, the Lushan Buddha is the heart and soul of the city. It means everything to this place. Then you take into account this city's delicious cuisine and its other underrated treasures, including the heavenly Ame Mountain, which I cover in a previous video. And now I'd say that I'd recommend Lushan as a destination for any world traveler. No matter who you are or where you come from, the sights in this city will astonish you.